made it. Did we? We made it to the timeline where Microsoft still pours money into Japanese games every now and again. They should have apparently poured a lot more, though. Yeah, no, this this game definitely comes off a bit as a, 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 a more of a budget release, yeah. but it's good. Isn't it? Isn't it actually like yeah, it's, $40? Yeah, it's $40. It's not a full $60 priced game. Mm. Uh, subtitles enabled. Ooh, Advanced this menu, options. though. I'm just going to go, I'm just going to go, uh-uh, uh-uh. Because maybe I've touched this game once. Maybe I've played it just a little bit. So this is Recore. Uh, Recore. Recore. I believe it's oh, pronounced right. in Recor. Europe. Recore. Right. I see. I see. Yeah. Uh, Recore. Recore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's developed by Armature Games, who are the um, so, X retro guys who did uh, Arkham Origins Blackgate. And they did work on Metal Gear HD, and so they're me, doing Bloodstained as well. So let me say this. They are like uh, NT Creates, where they are doing the legwork, but Concept is providing the concepts. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, I wasn't that, sure. Yeah, exactly. And Concept and is the, um, the well, whatever. They're working together. Yeah. They are associated on this. Uh, it's actually ironic that you compare them to Indie Creates because with Bloodstained, like they're the support for Indie Creates. Aren't they doing the Wii U and Vita versions? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So I hope those don't get canceled uh, by the time it comes out in yeah. twenty eighteen. No, I know. I I don't think it will. Those guys, those I'd, guys, I'd, like I could see the Wii U version being canceled. It's maybe not the Vita, but I, I yeah. I, oh I hope God, neither the, of them I'm do. so fucking sick of the Dust Devils just. Do they still sell those? Dust Devils? Or is that still a product no, that that's, people that's buy? No, Devil... Uh, no, what are they called? The Vacuums. Yeah, I know. They're not called Dust Devils. They're called Devil Dust. I don't know. No, Dust Devils. Dust Devils. Well, Devil Dust. So, yeah. I, I always thought... It wasn't supposed to be like that. Oh, that's your dad? He, oh, how'd you know? Because <laughs> in one of the trailers, there's like, oh, okay. I'm, I'm your dad. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, there's a lot of this, especially her, that looks like the, it's from um, uh, Odyssey Beyond, whatever. <laughs> God, the fucking game I hate. Odyssey, uh, uh, Enslaved. Odyssey enslaved, to the West. Journey yeah. to the West. I, 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 I kind of dig that game that a little, but it's not it's not great or anything. Uh, so this game, it's a, it's another, it's a jump and shoot man game. So okay. you jump and you shoot man. And it's a jump and shoot man game. So... And it's like Mega Man X, where you got your boost. You That's your a cool boost. It you is, You know, actually. honestly, aside from a trailer or two, I've never really... Like, I never looked at previews or anything. Right. Is this kind of like the thing where it's like, this isn't like a big epic action thing? Yeah. It's more like slightly a more arcade even like product number nine definitely it's a lot more project subdued. product i always uh, fuck product it up. number nine yeah product number nine it's a lot more subdued it's not trying to be Little a triple combo a game. shit yeah you get combos and the more combo you do if you do more combo you get more experience okay good max um, would be excellent at this he would actually but I hear all he is is disappointed that they he can't see more dissidia yeah <laughs> why why do you want to see that awful game that thing's cool <laughs> So this thing distributes insects for your enjoyment. Oh, to keep your to keep, to keep combo going. To keep combo go. Good. Yeah. Um, but so right now uh, we can't really see it. We're not quite there yet. This little opening area is uh, a bit of a linear trek up this mountain. And, right. And well, through as it. the start of almost anything usually is. But uh, this game actually is an open world collectathon. So, so when you need to get your jiggy pieces, yes, exactly. Um, your j and gingos. Once you get, yeah, gingos. Yeah, gingos um, sounds so racist. It really does. Uh, <laughs> um, get out of here, gingo. Fuck, you can't say that out loud, man. I know. Sorry. We're a let's I play. We're a let's play channel in the year 2016. You should I, know this. I apologize to all gingos and gingo enthusiasts. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, once you get through this little tutorial area, it all ju it just transforms into like yeah, little open world collectathon thing, and it's it's really fun. I don't need to shoot these guys, but I can get experience for doing it. Yeah, so. why not? Yeah. Okay, we gotta get the thing for this guy, and he's like, Yo, for Mac. Here. Is is this dog Mac? Yeah, our dog's name is Mac. Mac, Mac. See, I can call him, and he'll come and he'll sit around and hey, stuff. Hey, Mac. He's cute. What's got Billy so spooked? <laughs> What's the girl's name? Jewel. Uh, sure, okay. J, J O U L E. You not might... like not like Jules Watson, but like like yeah, okay. Jewel, the measure of electricity. Uh so you might be cool. too young to remember this, and usually I'm right when I say this, but like yeah. remember Jewel, the singer? 
Uh, no. So Jewel Who? the Singer was this kind of like folk song girl, very like, uh, and then she tried really hard to like oh, sex it up. Bumper. And it got real bad. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it was real embarrassing. Okay, this is a thing I will Google as soon as I get home. Yeah, no, please do. I you need, need to, to know. You need to be up on your jeweler. I like that that web. Yeah. Energy and, web. And you can keep shooting at him if you want the experience and the kills and stuff. But, but you, I'm, could, I'm gonna, you could just jump through. I'm going to gun it right now so we can advance a little bit. Dash. We, we want to get to that open world. Yeah, no, no. So here Gotta they teach the you to dash. Oh, oh fuck no. you. How dare you? Yeah. Got a dash. And and you've obviously played a little bit ahead, yeah, but yeah. does it go into the whole, like, what happened to the Earth? I think that's where it's going. I'm uh, still eventually. pretty early in the story, but I think that's where it's going. Oh, so, shit, so you can dash, double jump, and then dash again? Yeah, so if you jump, you get a dash, right? But then you don't get a second one until you hit the ground. Um, or until you fall a really far distance. But you can dash off a platform, then get both it's, your jumps. It's pretty, like... Yeah, you can go it, through almost anything. It's nice how you get both your jumps, you know? Like, you don't just get the second one. Yeah, and it's nice that double jump isn't already a locked thing. Yeah. Uh, so here is the extracting mechanic where you pull cores out yeah, of Yeah, I've seen a little bit of this. So when the wire turns red, you need to let up a little bit. Okay. And then you, and then you pull back. It's like fishing. It's kind of like a little bit. I know it's not exactly the same, but like remember you had the, um, the coil... In Metroid Prime uh, 3. A little bit. Where you open up doors and pull things a lot. Yeah. So. Shooting open boxes, you can find loot and stuff to upgrade uh, upgrade your animal buddies. So you ideally, oh, you want to shoot these guys until their health gets below that little white triangle. And, and then, then pull, pull their core out. For more XP, I assume? Uh, for more XP and resources. For, and the resources, that's the thing. Okay. Yeah. Sure. What, are, what, are, what do resources even do? They let you upgrade your animal oh, okay. Friends. Yeah. Your, uh, your Donkey Kong animal yeah, buddies. Yeah, your animal buddies. And you got a charge shot as well that you can mm. charge up. It does a lot of damage. Extract. But yeah, I can already see, like, at least in this this part, it like the the opening impression is like this is a bit more arcadey and like yeah, definitely shooty than pre like I I don't know because it's I only not saw trying to be trailer. true, break. Like it's 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 definitely got that like kind of light Japanese feel that like PS2 and Xbox games had. It's a lot more polished than most of those. No but. Mac, Mac. Oh, he did it fine. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't even know the full abilities so, of my robo dog. So now I can so now you can command Lethal Poppy commands. to do that. So now I have a Poppy that I can like I can shadow. hit Y and he'll do the charge and I can use it That's to like kinda neat. I can use it to like, you know, work the enemies. Yeah, work them. Work the body. Just so I can be up. like extracting and then get him to work the body if I have a if, if he's charged up. Mm. He has a little ring on his health, you see that's charging up. Right, right. That's when he can do it. Cool. Um, you never played uh, uh, Dead to Rights Retribution, the 360 one? Oh, no, but I know about it. Well, you know, like, how Shadow would just, like, literally... Well, like, because it said lethal takedowns or lethal moves or whatever, secret mm -hmm. lethal moves. Um, but Shadow in that game could literally chomp on dude's balls, and it's really real bad. When are we going to do our full LP? It's... <sighs> it's not as good it's as it should be. It's jankier than this. Oh, yeah, well, I believe... You know what? I believe that. Who, who, is that by Namco or Volatile? Yeah, published a uh, Volatile Games. Vol I don't even. Did they shut down? Yes. Yeah. Okay. They made um, or vol is either Volatile Games or Vicious Cycle Games. It's it's a fucking edge lord uh, developer. Um, there may or may not be a reason they got shut down. They saying. might have made uh, Insect Armageddon. Oh. Uh, EDF. Well. They might have. I have to look that up. So when you get to these doors, like before, you have to find the little the little robots. So okay, in this case, it's buried right here, and we canine get... frame. Oh, so yeah, your dog is always the canine frame. Yeah, so you can change their frames eventually. I uh, I didn't get far enough to get more animal helpers, but it seems like there's five different frames, and you can have three different buddies with you at a time, and you can swap their frames and stuff. It sucks that it's a canine frame and not like a feline frame because you, everything you'd have it do, it won't. It wouldn't do anything. It'd yeah. be fucking useless. <laughs> it just sits there and refuses to be on stream. <laughs> what are you doing with your cat? It just tears my face. I like these guys. They're like centipedes from the game Centipede, where if you shoot bit. the middle ones, they split up. Or the Mario centipede guys. Yeah, I yeah. I forget the names. Wiggers. <laughs> no. No. That's that's a fucking, no no no. That's I, a famous I was, typo. I was. 
Do you do you not remember that when Nintendo was no, like? Uh, I don't remember them being wiggers. N no, they're wigglers. <laughs> N Nintendo uh, did this thing where they posted this tweet where it was like, uh, like for Waluigi Wednesday, retweet for Wigger Wednesday. But they meant to write Wiggler. <laughs> oh, Wednesday. you mean like this was recent? Yeah, uh, I thought it was, this was like was last like in year. The instruction booklet for Mario. No, World. it was like last year. <laughs> oh man, it was great. That's they took the tweet news. down, but people got it. Fucking Nintendo. people captured that tweet. Why instant extract? So I don't know what it is, but if you perform well enough consistently. Occasionally, you'll just be able to finish off the it's, next. It's enemy. like a, it's like just in an RPG. Sometimes you just get the advantage. Sometimes and you get like a first attack. Yeah, yeah so. it's, it's sort of yeah, but I don't know exactly what governs it. I really okay. like how the sand moves, like when you dash. It's yeah, really nice. I, I suppose when you have a game that's in a sand environment, you 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 should you work better. It. You better, but it looks really good how it like Dude. disrupts all the other uh, how the, all the sand and shit. It looks, yeah. it looks fucking solid. So I gotta grab that thing from up there. How will you ever grab... Oh, you have a grapple. Yeah. I forgot. <laughs> oh, she's got, got a robo-leg. I didn't notice. Yeah, she's augmented. But they're her real legs that she's just got stuff on. Really? Because one looked like it was fully... Oh, maybe maybe I'm wrong then. Because I know her arm... My, my girlfriend was like, oh, she has a robot arm. And then she looked closer and she's like, no. It's just like a arm wrap. She just wrapped tinfoil on her arm. Yeah. Nani? It's, it's weird how she doesn't cover her nose with her thing, but it's cute, so whatever. Iron Fang. Protector of... <laughs> Whoa. So straight up, first boss. He's kind of not... Like, he's kind of nothing. He's a tutorial boss, you know. He's so. a spider frame. Like, he's nothing special. Basically. Yeah, it's like the effects and, like, particle effects are there, but they're not spectacular. They're not triple-A levels of, like, overdoing no, it. No, definitely not. Nothing about this game is, like, triple-A or anything, but it feels real good. Uh, dashing around in combat is really nice. Uh, later on, we might see them in this video, you start to find enemies where they shoot out, like, ground waves that you have to jump over. Ground wave! You end up having to, like, dash between shots and stuff. That's it's cool. pretty satisfying. It's not as, um, involved as, say, like, the trailers for Nier Automata have shown that game to be. Like, there, well, you have to jump over it. Different. But, like, it, it, it does cool stuff. Mm. So soon I'll be able to grab his thing, even without him being dead. Just need to... Make sure I'm safe. Uh, almost. There we go. Yeah, Die monster. You don't boss. belong in this, etc. Whoa, that looks like a Marvel card prism. Dude, it looks really good up close. I've never really seen an effect like that in a video game. That's crazy. It's really nice, actually. I was I was in the car with my mom, and she drove me to like a, uh, a corner store, and I bought a pack of Marvel cards, mm -hmm. and like I had a prism card in the pack, Ooh. and I fucking freaked out and shit all over in the car. And my mom was like, well, it is, and it got a special card. And your mom was like, no, give me that. I can sell it. And, like, that was the best thing I did last week. Like, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't mention it on the podcast. What fucking corner store can you still buy those cards at? Because yeah, I gotta I go. That's why it's a made-up story. <laughs> what? I like how her skin, her skin that's kind of exposed is sunburned. Yeah, no, it's 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 nice. I know, I got it. Her character model looks great. I got it. You got it. I got that sunburned for a little while. You've been there. So this is where we start to enter the open world area. Enter the beautiful, beautiful wastes. And you know, I spent, a, I spent, I never finished it, but I did pour at least like a dozen hours into the, the Mad Max Zam game. Dam. And this, you know, just desert environment. Plus it had a lot of yellow to, I don't know why it's used so much, but. Because well, it, it highlights, it's easy for players yeah, to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like one of the things about this open world is it feels a lot like collectathons where there's, there's like stuff hidden all over well, the place. Well, you are like a scavenger, so it makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But they, they just hide stuff all over. It's really. Log uh, books it's and shit. Dense. Yeah, it's very yeah, yeah, dense. Yeah, yeah. Huh. It's kind of weird that it doesn't get subtitled anymore. Yeah, no, that's odd, actually. I didn't have Although, subtitles on at home, so. To be I didn't fair, notice, though. But... Well, because we have subtitles for the other stuff. Was yeah, it we do, we do. But so is that an option? Like audiobooks having subtitles because it's actually a problem where imagine if it was subtitled and it kind of yeah. does distract no it, it's it's i remember pouring over the options earlier when i was trying to figure out where the camera speed was yeah and i know that's not in there for sure oh, okay but yeah no, there that is, is a weird. lot of words getting thrown around all over as you're doing stuff and when you're shooting up racking up combos yeah, it's gibberish. don't worry i'll go over and put the subtitles in myself on this youtube video Oh shit! Yeah, and if know. they're not there you know i didn't do my job, job. well Especially the one that you said you'd do. 
I'm not gonna. No one can know you didn't do a thing if you don't say you're gonna yeah, not exactly. do it. Yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna do it. Yeah, good. That was a joke. You should laugh and not say, the, Liam, you lazy asshole. The, the spider frame, or I'm assuming some of the other uh, later enemies, has this, like, crystalline look, and it reminds me of Beast Machines. Yeah, definitely. Beast Machines had a lot of sharp they edges. They look so aggressive and tough and yeah. edgy. No, I totally hear you on that. I remember that one guy that fucking screamed at Willie for not liking Beast Machines. Well, yeah, he deserved it. So this is your ship, huh. and you can go in your ship and upgrade stuff. The Crawler, it's called. Maybe it will. Maybe I can have food again. <laughs> you know, maybe you should go put that core inside your uh, thing to open up your ship, you know? Advance the plot. <laughs> I wonder if this core will advance the story. Jules. Jules Crawler. Yeah. And here we get to see this game's uh, extended loading times. Um, extra long loading times just for you. Uh, I, I actually do kind of hope they patch these load times a little bit, because they're... Why not, why not patch them right away? Yeah, well... If anything, this is the most common thing I saw, like, why? Oh, Poochie's fucking hurt. Robo Puppy got hurt. It's fine, he's a Robo Puppy. Robot. He doesn't feel pain. Good. Makes me feel less bad. She's like, man, my place is a shithole. I'm not going to be able to bring any dudes or ladies <laughs> back here. Her helmet's kind of dorky, the more I it, look at it. It is, it is dorky, but it's. I like her design, it's fun. No, like, the rest of it's okay, but I just find her helmet's like just an odd yeah. shape. I mean, it's like, it's work clothes. Because she's literally working. No, she's not a scavenger, she's a worker. Wake up already. It's been 200 years. Liz nerd. Yeah, I don't like his design. He looks like a nerd. He's just not, Moby. He's just not interesting. <laughs> Man, her eyes are the greenest eyes I've seen in a game ever. They look like mine. She fucking stole my eyes. She's a scavenger. Your eyes aren't green. Yeah, they are. No, they aren't. Shut up. Your eyes aren't blue. Yeah. Well. We all lie. Prove it, loser. <laughs> now that we've got power, we can unlock the gate, go over there and check it out. But she can't really talk to it. Like, from what you play, like, she doesn't meet any other humans, right? Uh, thus far, no, but I've definitely seen another character ass looking character. I guess if you're alone, like, you can talk to these. I Maybe they, like, maybe they do listen to her. I don't know. It's like, what's, what, you know, why do you talk orders. to animals, right? No, I yell at them. Oh, well, same difference. Zack! you probably get a better reaction that way. I probably might. Come on, Mac. I'll get you fixed up. We have to go get those additional pylons. Let me pet this hard, cold metal. Yeah. That's what I like. So, you Imagine can go Imagine if a to... real dog came up and she pet it and she'd be like, Ew. <laughs> it's fuzzy. Warm. Here we go, workbench. Yeah, so work it. At the workbench, um, you can create. See, these are the five body types. Yeah, yeah. There's like gorilla the and like a flying one. Yeah, so you can create, or you can research blueprints for each part of their body. Yosh. Um, and then you can individually tweak like what parts of their body have what what pieces of gear, huh. and it changes their appearance and their stats are on the left. You see. Huh. Um, that's more involved than I thought. I thought you just put the recore like in the frames and that was it. Yeah. Which have their abilities. I didn't think you could be able yeah. to upgrade them. I thought well, you'd be upgrade you. And, and the coolest thing about it is like, is ready to it, go. this, this piece of gear kind of looks like a pallet swap a little bit. It does. But there's a lot of gear that's not pallet swaps. There's like, I have okay. a different head that looks like a wolf's head on it. Oh, and stuff. that's cool. Like, so it looks like Blade Wolf. Yeah, a little. I wish there was a Blade Wolf DLC. Um, but yeah, so over time you get more blueprints and you can really customize their appearance and stats mm -hmm, and such. Mm -hmm. This thing we can't use until later. This is a uh, this is a fast travel use console console because it's open world beep, game. Beep. You need the fast travel, and it's also it also lets yeah, you your dump inventory your inventory item box. Yeah. yeah, there's the fast travel. You can't do it. Well, because you haven't gone anywhere yet. Yeah. Okay, fuck that. I'm going. Apparently, there's a cipher for that language. Really? Yeah. Apparently, it's totally real. 
but I don't know. Well, do the homework. Tell me later. Hopefully, if you beat the game, you unlock that or some shit. Yeah, like when you play a Zelda game and you unlock Hylian or whatever. Mm-hmm. But, but um, I mean, there you go. There's She's talking to them, and they are actually talking back. So Yeah, okay, fair even enough. Even though she's alone. And there are other robots you meet who will chat to you in that Hylian language. Get out of here, meatbag. In Hylian. How do you pronounce that in Hylian? What, meatbag? Yeah, I think it's chat. <laughs> yeah. I can't do that one. When he gets hurt. Yeah, that one. It's the best as I can do. So loading back to the open world, it, uh, it's a little much. It's it's, it's not it's not the worst. It's not it's, the it's, worst. It's, it's it. Like I read the PC version of this. Like it it's improved, but it's still way longer oh, yeah. than any other game. I mean, in theory, the PC version, like, if your computer's strong enough, it should be fine, but... No, like, I read a thing, like, I have, like, we use the strongest rig in the office. Oh, wow. And load times are still 30 seconds here or there, or Dang. whatever. okay, so that, like, needs some optimization. There I got lit on fire briefly, by the way. That was quick, um, yeah. Um, I, I put it off right away, because I knew how to do it, but you, have, you just have to dash to put the fire off. Ooh. Yeah, sometimes when you do that, uh... Oh, yeah, because the camera locks in to yeah, show, so exactly. if you're on a certain amount of If you're at a certain terrain. incline, it's going gonna, it's gonna to yeah. clip through the terrain. But it's fine. It doesn't really do anything bad. Okay, fuck this guy. No, fuck all these guys. It's yeah. Fine. It's fine. What I really don't need do? to. The enemies, like, respawn throughout the open world, so you can keep gathering supplies, basically. Is that like a... So it looks like it should boost you up to. But it does. There it hurts you. <laughs> but it hurts you right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, you probably. I haven't gotten there yet, but you probably need something to be able to to use it. Iron boots. For now, we'll just go ahead. You literally have iron boots on. Just realize. Yeah, but it's not good enough. Not good enough. So these these are gated off by uh, having certain amounts of jiggies. Yeah. Okay. So we have one jiggy right now, and that's right. just enough to get in. Uh, I'll show you on the map after, but like. Um, over to the side of this area, um, there's, like, a big, uh, survival arena that you can go to when you get, like, five or six jiggies or something, like, fairly early on. And you can, um, like, gain some XP there, I assume? Uh, maybe. I haven't been yet. <laughs> I thought this said the lovely basin. Lovely basin. No, it's much better. It's the lonely basin. Come bathe in the lovely basin. Yeah. Where you'll be alone in the, the, in, the in the lonely steam baths, where there's no one else taking a steam bath. Ah, my favorite. There's no way you'd be that perverted to look in through into the lady's side. Oh, but I am. Are you a big enough pervert to look into the lonely basin? <laughs> it, it, it takes a huge amount of courage to be a <laughs> pervert. So I guess I'll just show you on the map right now. This is the map. So this was the tutorial area. It was this straight shot through right. here. And then we get to this small area. And then this is the first open area. It's this this whole thing. Yeah. And then this is one of the other open areas. And then this is that one's uh, getting kind the of other big. one. And this is another one that's on top of And is of that everything? everything? Uh, as far as I know, yeah. But it's it's a bit bigger than it looks. Because yeah, I, no, I thought, right? like, hey, that's pretty small. But, like, see this black diamond here? Yeah. Like, that's, like, that thing over there. Oh, shit, it's look at that fucking evil thing. Yeah, I know. It's so, like a reaver. It, like, it's, it's pretty big. Not Again, it's not like a huge AAA game or anything, so... Keep your expectations in the right place. Mm. Not you. I know your expectations are in the right place. No, they're exactly. You at home are. listening, who's like, why isn't this Halo? It's not Halo. Is, yeah, no, I, there hasn't been a Halo game for like the is, last five months, so everyone starts asking where it is. Yeah, no, this is the win back of video games. I don't know. Speaking of which, I hope win back is in Tecmo's Muso Stars. <gasps> uh. Koe Tecmo. Yeah. Yes, Koe yeah. was the one. Bo Jackman. Okay, you know what? Winback. Uh, guitar Jean, room no, man. If, it, if it's if it's Winback, then you need Jean Luc Cougar. Yeah, he's an important um, character in the Tecmo Koe cinematic universe. I I would be totally more excited for Muso Stars if if Winback was in. Okay, there. and also they should localize it not as Muso Stars, but as all the warriors. Yeah, no, all the warriors. <laughs> Like, it, it, this game <laughs> writes itself. Mm. I, I was thinking I'd really love for a Tech Mobile stage to be in, at least. That like, Bo, Bo, Bo's a real person, but, like, do a football field as a stage. Yeah, It'd yeah, be so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I don't suppose you remember uh, if Tecmo or Koei uh, pub were the ones that published Bujing Guy. 
Oh god, I no, I don't remember. Oh, at all. they got Gact Bujinga in there. Oh yeah, but Gact is the game ruiner. He's the guy who you make the game and then four years later he's like, nah, you gotta stop selling it. You uh, mean uh, Dirge? Uh. You mean Dirge or Service? And Crisis Core? Yeah, that's true. Both of them. If you're a bit low, Jewel will like grab onto platforms like that to scamper up. Yeah, so. you bet you might you better. Yeah. There's doggos here, so I'm just gonna shoot oh, them. Oh look at that fucking blade wolf. Good luck, doggo, I'm all the way up here. Yeah, dogs can't climb. It's loser. A good thing. Yeah, oh shit, that's embarrassing. So when it's red, you just give him a bit of slack, and then you pull it back in. Yeah, and as soon like, as the yellow bit touches Jules' hands, she takes it. It's like fishing. Yeah, exactly. If you've never been fishing, this is like fishing. Oh my god, <laughs> my lock-on's not working from here. <laughs> it's you're pretty far. Oh shit, is that what you're talking about? Yeah, exactly. That's a pretty cool attack. So here, I can grab onto an enemy and have my dog attack it, and if. Uh, the enemy dies while you're latched onto it, you automatically pull it in. Okay. So here I can have the dog attack and just automatically pull it in. Cool. It takes a bit of getting used to because you have to like hold the right stick and hit Y at the same time, which who is like a really tricky combination, but... Who hey. would modify the frames? <laughs> Bastards. Dr. Light? So you see on the side we're getting like gear and stuff. Um... That's uh, that loot is how you build the blueprints. Uh, so you build, you construct the parts with them. Right, basically. right. And there's a bunch of treasure chests all over the place to give you more gear. Well, it's gear. Yeah. Stabilizers, wires, valves. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, let me get these guys. There's like fodder enemies or nothing. So there's the the crafting stuff, and it tells you what it drops for which, from, which is really handy. Yeah. And there's the cores. These are the ones we we grab from the enemies, right? Right. And. So the level is based on what level the enemy was, yeah. so the number in there next to their health bar, uh, and that helps determine their value. And then see, I have a rare one here, level so that's three, worth yeah. more than a common three one. Right, right. Um, and it says at the top how much they're and then all. Then there's how legendary, much you have on hand. legendary cores. There, so there are there are multicolored <laughs> there are multicolored ones. Okay. That are purple and green and stuff. So it's a it's a combination of say red and blue or what have you. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, you're an artist, so you know how color mixing works. Uh, I. Oh my god. I don't. How embarrassing. I fell down. E. You're stuck. So fortunately, like, okay, never mind. Her, her her breadth of platforming skills make it so you can get up just about anywhere. Uh, yeah, I'd imagine so. I, I even found a bit, um, a cut, not just one bit, like two or three bits where you can go to places that you're unintended to get to so early in the game just because you have such an amazing amount you're of like, sequence like mobility. Almost. Yeah, kind of actually. Um, we're, so we're going to the first dungeon now, and mm. one of the um, one of the areas in the dungeon expects you to come back with a certain piece of gear, but you can just climb up the collision on the wall. Yeah, fuck you, collision. And and then boost across the room. <laughs> Get that walk and talk. This is triple Don't A. Don't fucking fail, pylons. I want all this. Want There's all this a lot group. riding on this. Insert core. So see. Uh, so on the left, you need to be that level, and you need to have that many jiggies. Slap that dog. And on yeah. the right is your completion of the area. There's this giant door. We have need to shove enough, as many jingos as we can in there. No, that's a different thing. Wait, what did I say? Jingo. That's a diff Like that's a different jinjos? thing. Jinjos? No, jinjos is the banjo kazooie okay. thing. Okay. Here we go. Next, you're gonna be like Moolies and. No. You're gonna go off the ropes. No, I wouldn't. You're do gonna that. lose it. Yeah, no. It's not a con. I'll be you're, fine. You're out of control. Yeah, you know, as long as it's a con, I won't go nuts. <laughs> this is uh, this also is a loading screen. No, I can. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I uh, got that uh, impression from the amount of loading it's done. Yeah, it's um. Or if they knew it was gonna load this <laughs> long, put us some. Something they should have put a mini game like Wave Race Blue Storm, yeah. <laughs> where you get to move the bubble around and do nothing with it, but it's kind of fun. Something like that. Yeah, be able to play uh, Tekken. I really like um, so Deus Ex: Mankind Divided. Just like Human Revolution, has really long load times. Yeah, it did. But they put like paragraphs of text on the screen yeah, for you yeah, to like, read. It's uh, interesting. Human Revolution did. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. So they at least cover it up. Zip zap zoop through this place. You got you got a mega achievement. I got, got a achievement? safe hunter. Cool. Oh, is your 
Is your Windows 10 computer hooked up to your Xbox account so the yes. achievements are popping on your computer? Yeah. Huh. That's neat. That's, like... That seems, like, needless. Whoa! I Ninja! Oh my god. <laughs> Does Tecmo own I Ninja? Oh, fuck. I don't, I don't think so. I don't if think so. If in the comments, write one if you know if, if you <laughs> who owns I Ninja. In the chat? Yeah. Yeah, no, in the comments of this video. This is the, now you get the fast travel after this point. But why? Which is really handy. Violet. Because anything that lets you jump over a few loading screens on your way to somewhere else is a plus. She's like, she's fuck that guy. I don't need him. There was a lot of uh, dialogue. A lot of talking there. over. Yeah, sorry. I should slow it down. No, no, speed it up. So this game has like two types of enemies: real enemies and these garbage fodder enemies. Yeah, that are to, nothing. Just to give you something to shoot. Yeah, and they're not like. Wow, this environment's crazy, anything. actually. Yeah, it's the it's the first dungeon exactly. So like they, they're not like. Well, this one, anyway, isn't, like, super complex or anything, but there's stuff. There's a bunch of different directions to go in. Mm -hmm. uh, there's treasure all over the place, like... Treasure. You get a bunch of loot and explode yourself. Good. Yeah. I think, yeah, over there, there's an actual treasure chest. So this is one of the ones where I, I wasn't 100% sure how to get up there. So I was just like, all right, well, there's just, just fucking rocks everywhere. Yeah. So I'll just fucking... Just keep massaging I'll it. I'll just fucking use the rocks. Like, oh, fuck. Blew you can do it, you can do it. Oh, she made it up when I did that. <laughs> you, you second guessed yourself. No. Oh, oh, I'm surprised. This is very embarrassing. This is like Trey embarrassing. Can I go up here? Oh, no, it's because I came from here, I'm sure. Was it? Yeah, yeah. Alright. Last try, don't worry. There, there go. you go. And it's like, I don't think. I don't know. I don't think that's the that intended way up. That didn't exactly that didn't feel, feel like intended, it. but... And you get a bunch of blueprints and stuff that maybe you're not supposed to have. I don't know. If that's These intended... banned blueprints. Yeah. If that's intended, then this is truly next-gen game design. Right? Yeah. Being able to just finagle. Okay, do we have hard drive space? Are we good? We have, we, no, I, I record... My hard drive space. You record your computer. Yeah, no. I and put now my, we I can put, record for, on your I computer. I took my cat's heart and I shoved it into my computer and now it's Oh, better. good. Yeah, that would do the trick. Yeah. It takes a cat heart or an eclipse, one or the other. What? That gets it done. So these things are things oh, that scary. you don't know yet. We'll, we'll get to those in These like a things are things that we don't know yet. That we don't know yet. Okay, I know fair, them fair yet. Fair enough. You know you them? don't know them yet. I've never seen such a coded color door lock before. Are you ready for red, green, and blue color recognition? No. Can you handle identifying colors and so using matching colors? I'd really love Link to open up a chest and go, this ought to be good. <laughs> Holy Give me all shit. this junk. Wow, look at all this junk. I need all this junk. So now I can hit, uh, oh, well, in a second. I can hit right on the D-pad to switch to my red mode, mm -hmm. and I shoot red bullets. Right, okay, I remember seeing, I re reading a bit about this, like, red enemies take more damage from red stuff. Yeah, everything. exactly. As okay. long as you're using the right uh, color, they take more damage. Okay. Oh, shit, I'm on fire. Dash to extinguish. Yeah, no, dash to extinguish makes sense. Yeah. Ugh, I hate, like, I hate these dogs, because when you, if you try to extract while there's another one around, you're liable to just fucking suffer. So you might, you might, you just might need to let one go and not extract. No, I, I have to, I have to extract them. I need his core. There we go. That's Die monster, you don't belong in this world. Die monster, you don't belong in this, etc. You're talking to your mech dog, he doesn't know what you're saying, he doesn't understand sarcasm and wit. No, he speaks. No, if he speaks, that's about he knows. Oh, jeez. So you have a charge shot too, and the charge shot with each element does a different status ailment. So now uh, that guy got lit on huh. fire when I shot him with the charge shot. Okay. Um, and if you destroy robots, uh, they'll drop parts instead of their core. So before that robot dropped a bit, as opposed to dropping his core. See. So. Nice. Okay. But if you pull out their core, you don't always get you don't get the the so, drops. So yeah, there's a lot of. There's collectibles and things to consider. Yeah, definitely. There, there's some measure of thought you have to put into that kind of stuff. Like, oh, what I want to focus on upgrading this or that, so 
I have to kill these enemies this way, this yeah. enemy that way. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You got it. Whereas in, like, I don't know, a lot of games, like, again, I don't know why I keep thinking of it as, like, Mad Max is just, like, oh, shit, I want this, so I have to just kill bosses, just which is Just do more. Tough. Just do more but always. But not by per battle. You, you're constantly at the thing about what you what mm. you're low on. Right, I hear you. So here we get to one of those things again with the with the little switch guys. Yeah, get over here. Be my sl be my robot slaves. I need it. I'm addicted to this pleasure now. To. <laughs> this very dark sounded. A <laughs> little. And if you shoot in the air, like you, it, it still locks on perfectly. So. That's good. You never have to like really worry about aiming too much. Well, that's a that's a very Japanese thing where Japanese games with guns you don't really have to like manually yeah, aim and stuff. Yeah, lock on a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they can't do the right stick in Japan. They're really bad at it. No, they've never even seen that hemisphere of the that, controller. Yeah. That's like actually like a thing though, eh? Where like people in Japan tend What's to have the right a, stick too? players in Japan tend to have a harder time with it. it it's the camera. Uh, yeah. But in shooters, it's the it's the aim button. You Ring know? your core bites. Yeah, so these things are pretty neat. This is a max HP up I just collected, so my health is just a smidge higher now. Yeah, I'd, I'd imagine you collect a lot of those. Yeah. So these things reset all your air mobility. Oh, okay. I thought it was just going to zoom you forward, but that's basically what it's doing. Yeah, it, it gives you options, though. You can go up, you can go down, you can go sideways, whatever you want. Now, you know? what do you think about... It happens in Metroid too, but what do you think about why are there big contraptions in places she's never been that are like completely designed yeah. for her? I mean, yes, it's a video game, but no, I I hear you, I hear you. It's uh, it's one of those immersion things you just shouldn't think about because it's just, it's heavily distracting when you really try to think about it. Like it's like an Uncharted Four, where where or not four, but any any given Uncharted that. game where Nate's like. Oh, nobody's been here in thousands of years. And then there's 400 Mexican thugs <laughs> on the other side of that stone door ready to gun you down. Because the classic, I think it was either like a Penny Arcade or something else where it's just talking to, to, to some Chozos or talking to each other. It's like, can we really build these like tiny little tubes? Like, who's going to be able to go in? Yeah. Like, Don't worry, man. In like 500 years. It'll be fine. It'll work perfectly. Those guys love tubes. Yeah, chose space to, pirates. Ch space pirates build a lot of tubes as well. Eh? That's true. Yeah, <laughs> just we need to give her a chance. Yeah, extract. Get out of here, Jiggy. I want you. I want you, Jiggy. More to go. All right. So not all Jiggies are acquired in that. Not, like not all Jiggies are created equally. Yeah, but they're they're not all like gotten from. Uh, big pull-out things like that. Mm. A lot. Some of them are found just in chests. Like as it goes on, you get them from a variety of locations. It's actually a lot like the pearls. Salty dog. Yeah, yeah. The salty dog gear. It's yeah, really good. 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 Uh, but it's actually a lot like the pearls from Beyond Good and Evil because right. that game is also oh, like a collectathon. Oh yeah, the pearls. I forgot. Yeah, that was the main thing. Mm -hmm. Oh jeez, I need to get uh, two pearls for these Rastafarian uh, uh, rhinos. So they can fix the rocket, so I can go to space. Yeah. You ever finished that game? I got super close, and I think, like, a mutual friend just took it. Just ah. took my copy. Well, one day when we do the full LP. I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, too... Because I fucking love Beyond Good and Evil. It's awesome. What were you saying? It's too... It's, it's, Is it's it too, too much good? Of a Are you too scared? Of, no, it's too much of a sense of a spot. Oh. Or I'm like, I'll lament the fact that I got my game basically stolen. Yeah, well. Anyway. I'm sure you stole a lot of games from him, and that was why he did it. I did not. Sure. I don't think I ever bartered it. Sure, man. Actually, I did. A Power Stone. But we used it for the brawl. Okay, so it's fine. It was stolen for good reasons. <laughs> Those are forgivable reasons. By the way, I'm gonna have to give you back your stupid shield. That NVIDIA shield? Yeah. We need it for Mega Man X. I need to figure out how to turn it into a Game Boy Advance. That's <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> so the map, like, tracks... Oh, great. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, he missed. I was invincible. You're invincible when you pick out stuff out of a treasure chest. I was gonna say, I really liked her dialogue when she opened up the chest previous, where she's just like, fingers crossed. Yeah. 
No, she has a lot of good lines, honestly. They, uh, they, they go randomly when you open chests, so you'll hear that again at right. some point. Fingers crossed. You'll surely get the line again. Okay, well, surely. I better. Uh, so the maps are also, like, really detailed in the dungeons, too, and they're perfect, and they show oh, all yeah, the chest locations dungeons, and everything. Oh, yeah, of course, there's dungeons, so... Yeah. Okay, yeah, it's so that, that's what we're basically in. One one of the, the omissions I saw people complaining about was, like, there's no mini-map in the game. And that's kind of a little odd, I'll totally agree. But Ooh. Since I don't think you've actually played it or not enough to see what it is, um, I thought there was some podcast question where I thought it was going to come up, but I, I didn't, we didn't get around to it. But it was like, what is the worst map in any game? Oh, wow. Not and I have an answer for it. Fucking not this map. What is it? Um, maybe not the worst one, like, but the worst one I've seen, where it's literally useless. Uh, the map in Prince of Persia Warrior Within. Oh, yeah? Is it that bad? Yeah. First is it just all, like an artistic map where you just look at it and basically? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because those maps are the worst because they're fucking worthless. The, the only thing it's it's worth a shit for is the fact that on the top it does tell you what your main objective is. Okay. But it's always go to this place. Yeah. So still, it's so stupid. And uh, it's the only Prince of Persia game has a fucking map. Well, I mean, there's a map in Prince of Persia 2008, but it, it's, it's not that it's, it's one not of really these useful. works. The Prince of Persia 2008 is just like, here's where the lines are. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, your computer's exploding no, it's, again. No, it's an achievement. Is that? Yeah, it, fuck. I'm getting so many. <laughs> yeah, you did. In one battle, I saw like three pop up. You do get a lot. You're getting me lots of achievements. Because uh, like, I care about those What still. I just hear was I, I hit a... Um, Oh, you I fucker, hit, how I dare you? I hit a thing you? that, would op that opens this, this for oh, a few a seconds, chest. and there's just a hidden chest in this extreme darkness. Mm. Get some white bear bones. The, <laughs> the white bear bones. So one of the things I like is, like, you can you can dash along the ground and then jump and dash in the air again really quick. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you get double dash. It's cool. Not not quite the, the tech of, like, Shrek Super Slam, but it's there. No, no, no. I mean... Okay. What was what the fuck was it called? Uh, crumpet, crumpet dashing. Crumpet dashing. Crumpet dashing. Is but then there was also remember block really canceling. Really high level. Yeah, block canceling is really good. It's fine because uh, I I know for a fact this video will go up after the Shrek Super <laughs> Slam. Everyone, so we we can expose that right out of the gates. Oh yeah yeah yeah. God, One like, step away. Whoever came up with the crumpet dashing name is like a fucking. Genius. It was Kirby. Remember, Wooly found out who. Oh it was, yeah yeah yeah. I do actually. So, the other thing that, like, there's these bright colors, and we're in a cave, mm -hmm. for this level at least, uh, this dungeon, and again, this is the second time I've mentioned it, and I've never actually played it, but I don't know why I keep referencing it lately, is that it looks a lot like uh, Red Faction Armageddon, because yeah. that was all subterranean. That's with... all the all the blue diamonds all over yeah, the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I worked on that a little bit the the i think yeah, i told you, you the online yeah, you, you directed it for a day yeah no well you were the special director for the day would have turned out a fucking lot better if i did that mm. oh no i don't know about that uh <laughs> that game's no, rough man that game should have been a slam dunk after gorilla but wasn't destined to be and gorilla looked like it was gonna be shit yeah and then wound up actually kind of liking it quite yeah a bit. you remember the emu no i just remember axe guy okay well yeah that was cool too, I guess. He's the hero. the The only cool thing in Armageddon was the uh, the magnet gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Oh no, there was the magnet gun, and there was the thing that a let nano you... machine gun or something. Yeah, the thing that let you regenerate Ooh. terrain that you destroyed already. That was really cool. Mm. Yes, yeah, so they they hide stuff all over the place. Okay. These guys did make uh, again uh, Arkham Origins Blackgate, which was uh, for all intents and purposes like a Metroid like game. Yeah, so... but I. I... So they like, know all about hiding maybe stuff. Maybe I will just get the regular old Vita version because I fucking hated that console version of it. Yeah, I played the console version as well after you after you said it wasn't good, and I actually totally agreed. Oh my god, I, I forget botched why it. though. I have to go dig. I forgot. I totally forgot. Well, to there, go oh, dig there's right a there's a green objective. Oh my god, I botched it like oh real far back. Well, you're talking and walking, so it's fine. Yeah, but fuck me though. Yeah. <laughs> A dock of your pay. I had to dock myself money today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you're diligent on that. I just... 
I fucking <laughs> I just passed the controller to Wooly for certain parts of Omicron now because I'm like I refuse. Wow. Because he's good on the fighting parts. Well, of course. So I'm not doing my full like LP duties. He's been practicing with the boss characters. He knows all about it. Oh, dude. Okay, come on, dig. The animations are all cute. Like it actually looks like yeah. very dog like. So if it's like uh, you've played a bin, you still haven't found another frame. Yeah, let's see, we found one. Yeah, and there's five. It's like how long is this game? It seems like it'll probably be a decent length for the amount of money. Yeah, it costs. definitely. It's like no says one. like six, seven hours maybe. It's uh, longer than that. It's really? gotta it's gotta be longer than that. I played for two hours. I didn't and you find, never got a frame. I didn't find another frame. It might be one of those things, though. Like, you know how some games do that? Where they'll have, like, these big locked main abilities. And you might actually only get the last one, like, 30 minutes before the end of the game. Possibly. Because they didn't think of it for it to have any real material use. And it's just like, you know. Let's say the last one you get is that big gorilla guy. It's, it's possible. I heard people saying it was longer than 10 hours, though. So. Oh, shit. That's... Yeah. yeah, no, I heard people saying, like, it was a... It's a this is a full... This is the real full thing. Okay. Longer than many AAA games. <laughs> I wish Armature could do more, like, original I work. I wish, like, they haven't really had what I'd call, like, a huge success yet. No, definitely not. But they're not... They're just a support group. They're not, like, an old developer that will just do everything on their own. I mean, they can clearly do it. Yeah, you know, no. Based on what we're playing now, but... And, Ar boss. and again, Arkham Origins Blackgate, they, they did they that. They probably did something else. Yeah, this is the second boss. Oh, yeah. it's, like, a cool ram. He yeah, has a cool design. It is, yeah. So he will charge at you. Yeah, the skull cracker. It's another good dildo name. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, plant that's similar to Planet, planet cracker. cracker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know we're we're stagnating. No, but it's like those are the three kings: the orphan maker, the, the orphan planet. maker, the planet cracker, and the. <laughs> there is a third. The but pine I'm... goliath. <laughs> the pine goliath. No, you got that from something. Made of a fine brushed pine. Yeah, no, polished wood. <laughs> that's wood. <laughs> <laughs> the crimson dynamo. <laughs> <laughs> the yellow dart. The old hunter. <laughs> <laughs> the old one. Oh shit, getting too close. My lock on's fucking up. Get him. Oh, Tackle man. him. Get him. Get him. So the bosses change color too, and the intent is that you're able to change color to match them. Uh, this early in the game, we don't have a different gun, so we're just kind of make do different oh, gun or shit. different ammo different gun ammo you're right oh my god they're really you always, do you always have the same gun and it just uh, changes as, ammo as far as I know yes yeah. sorry I, when I said different gun I, I misspoke I, okay. I'm not sure if there are different guns oh my god I'm doing rough a little rough you were thinking of the crimson dynamo the old hunter oh what's what's the name of that optional dog boss in the chalice dungeons of bloodborne Oh, Watchdog of the Old gar Gods. <laughs> yeah. Queen of Yarnum. <laughs> King of Yarnum. So she's a dildo called, like, the, uh, the Martyr Longarius or whatever. <laughs> Martyr <laughs> Longarius? <laughs> oh, 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 get away. Oh, man. Oh, get away. Oh, wow. They really get in, and sometimes they get in, and I'm not sure what the answer is. You know, I like these designs better than the animal designs of the mechs in um, uh, Odyssey Journey. Enslaved Odyssey to the West. <laughs> I like it better than those, because those were like... Because I, I like it when it's like an actual animal, where those things were just like monsters that were yeah yeah uh things nothing tops horizons so, so i was though. gonna say what do you think of horizons uh, horizons yeah. is the best yeah. out, of, out of all three of these aesthetics horizons which are, are crazily similar horizons so are the best this so is far. the place i was talking about before where you're supposed to you get i saw in a trailer you get like magnet boots or something i magnet still haven't gotten boots. those in the game those let you walk up this wall that's cool the spider ball but you can just like fucking climb up the rocks and mm. then like <laughs> wait you've never You've never played Arkham Asylum. 
Oh, fuck. That was that was funny. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to find the spot again. You know the dumb thing about that is? Pat knows he didn't play Arkham Asylum. Yeah, I know. talked about it to him several times. It was times. weird. That was funny. I like how Wooly should know that we already told him about that black chie in uh, Trauma Team. Trauma Team, yeah. I, I was That's like, dude, I have all three Trauma Team games. All trauma games, there. or rather. Look, you fucking skip it. I've always wanted to play them. And you get a Jiggy ahead of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a Jinjo. Get that Jinjo. Here's your Jinjo. That's literally the most mystical power-up I've ever seen anyone get in any it, game It's ever. got a really nice effect on it that I, like, haven't really seen elsewhere at all. I think it's almost like it was a, a polygon mistake. Like it was a texture error, and they're like, hey. We were making this material, and we botched it, and... Oh, shit. It's beautiful. It looks fucking awesome. Let's keep that. Get that in there. Get in there. Have you gotten any upgrades for your mobility? Uh, Faster dashes or something? No, not yet, but, like, I haven't I haven't needed it yet. Um, the, the next major area you get to after this is, like, all vertical platforming and stuff. Oh, cool, okay. So, like, they're they're mixing it up enough that I haven't felt the need for more stuff yet. Okay. And, like, they still introduce a lot of stuff, like, moving platforms and oh. uh, putting more of those gates in the air near each other. Disappearing Mega Man platforms. Um, there are mini dungeons you can enter if you have enough jiggies. And the mini dungeons are, like, the one that I found, uh, it was a race where you have to get, get out of it as fast as possible. Mm. Um... And there's like a bunch of side objectives where you have to collect this key and you have to hit eight switches along the way. And if you manage to do them, you get more treasure at the end, like extra jiggies and stuff like that. And if you do them all at the same time, you get like a big extra treasure. Get a big extra jiggy. <laughs> yeah, a big extra jiggy. Get your extra jinjos. Um, but no, there's a lot of, there's definitely a lot of variety as far as the places to explore. I want to know what you're saying. That's. That looks elaborate enough to be real. That, yeah, if you had yeah. a cipher or whatever, check it out. Just detailed enough that I'll believe it. Hey, yeah! It's a cute robot. Sounds like Claptrap's, like, I, uh, foreign cousin. When I worked for a Nintendo site back in 2002? Of course you did. Uh, what was it called? Advanced Nintendo. Oh, I'm, Advanced sure, I'm sure it was great. It wasn't... Um, so we can't warp back now because we don't have the thing. This is that uh, area I was talking about, the side area that takes 75 jiggies. Right. Wow. Um, but I, they wanted a, a logo. They wanted, like, a mascot. So I designed, like, a little robot guy mm -hmm. that, ironically enough, back then, it had a striking similarity to Beck. Oh, yeah? Yeah, except that he, his mouth was covered. Do you still have this? I don't know, maybe. Because I've had the same email account for like a thousand years, right? I've had. Mm -hmm. I, I opened up my email account when you were just like not even born yet. So, um, uh, I could, but I really doubt it. It's just a cute little robot guy. It's a lot like Did Next Level. Remember Next Level? Next Level Next Games? Next Level's uh, logo. It has like a little robot guy. Yeah, yeah. And everything. I don't think they use it anymore in or, They're or old for the games. Now, now they have like a clean text, graphic yeah. text. Logo. It was a lot like that, but it also reminds me of that guy. That uh, racist robot yeah, that yeah. we just met. Why was he racist all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't know what he was saying. Yeah, okay, that's that's fair. He could be saying some vile shit. If you're shit. speaking in a foreign language, it's assumed that you're racist. <laughs> No. These are the, it's, these it's are the assumed, four tenets of it's best It's not friends. assumed that you are racist. It's assuming that you are saying a racist thing. Oh, okay. Just, right. Right? Otherwise, you wouldn't say I don't it know. in such a hushed way. Yeah. You would let us know, right? Yeah. What? <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Sir? Anyway. So the sandstorm's all cleared up now. Good. You beat nature. It's always satisfying when one meets nature. Yeah, fuck nature. Hashtag fuck nature. That's convenient. Hashtag litter every day. That's convenient. That's convenient, but it makes sense. Find water. She should be really concerned with water. What am I going to eat? What? What? Yeah, I know. This Who is the most guys? evil robot I've ever seen. His name's Victor. Holy shit, this guy! 
So I'm really keen to get to that kind of stuff. And he has a core that's black. Fuck me. So that's, Shoot him! Turn around and shoot where he was! He's fucking gone. Uh, so now we're done the tutorialing, and now it's the real open where world. Where it's like everything. Okay. Go where you want, do what you want. Um, so in terms, again, you go to so little mini dungeons. Using the sky, Skyward Sword measure, how long did that take versus when you're allowed to go and Yeah, sword? exactly, right? Probably shorter than Skyward Swords, but yeah. just as hand-holded. Uh, I, I played another hour or so after this, and it's it's it gets better. I was really surprised, and I was really like, why, why does it why does it get better? What happens? Well, it 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 lets go of the leash. No, but and after it's just that, like, it's after just like, that, like, what else do you? Well, you start seeing new platforming obstacles, more okay. enemy types appear. Like, I was really surprised when I went in the bestiary and I saw there's like thirty types of enemies. Okay, and we've only seen like two thus far. Uh, there's 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 a lot of variety and like. The game is much better than just this, like, poorly front-loaded tutorial section, unfortunately. Yeah. Also, we're, like, pretty under-leveled, so we're hitting for, like, super low damage, but hey. Because your you gun do? levels up, too. What I can didn't you even do? talk about that. There's nothing you can do There's about nothing you that. can do. You just complain. And, and like we said, like, I mean, because when this was announced to be like, yeah, it's it's kind of more of a lower budget thing. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I'll, like, that's fine. I totally. guess, like, because it does, it does look around that level, but it seems to me like it's, it's, if you like scavenging and loot and shit, and like cute robots, you like robots, yeah. it seems like a good well, time. And it's a good platformer, and I mean, if you want to collect a thon, because the mobility those, is, is good. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, if you want to collect a thon, those games just don't really exist anymore, so this is, this is fucking. I'm gonna battle Angel this game's Leader fucking game. solid. Hang on, I gotta write stuff in the paint. In the paint. You'll, it, it'll deform before you can write stuff. Write high. Oh, I can write high. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna, it, They're going to deform before you do it. It says high. It kind of says high. It says high. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I did Liam it. Liam did it. Oh, extra money for you. Okay, now I got to draw a Wu-Tang Clan logo. <laughs> 